Hi everybody and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good today. Got my Java. Must have. So, I'm feeling better as far as my back. I mean, it still hurts some, but I can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I really think the Intivio aggravated uh, my, I, like I'll hurt all over. Uh, Crohn's can affect every every joint in your body, every organ in your body. Uh, and so, you know, like sometimes my fingers, I have this, and I read up on this yesterday, you have to have surgery for this if it gets worse. My fingers will stay kind of like this, but then they'll go, they'll pop, like, I can't get them to straighten out, and then the, when they do, they kind of go, they pop. Have y'all ever heard of that? They had a name for it, and I can't remember what it was. You have to have surgery, and they go in here, and they cut the like an ACL or something like that in there to where it's looser, uh, or you know, you can do it normally. Now, I'm not going to have all that done. I mean, come on, but it's when it gets bad, when, when you can't. You, the, people will get to a point to where they can't even open it up. It stays kind of like this, you know, you've seen them you know, with their hands like that and stuff, but you have to have surgery to do anything about that. So I hope that doesn't get worse. Cause see, I'll sleep at night with my hands kind of like this. I don't have them just like laying like that. Do y'all do that kind of a little bit when you're laying? Uh, and then, but then when I wake up, they, they want to, they like pop to open. And then after a while, after after I use them for a while, they'll be okay. They're fine right now. But my hands hurt. Everything hurts. My knees. But I think the intivio aggravates all that because I'm always sore afterwards, and it made my back worse. So it's, I think it's finally wore off some. See, it lasts two months. That's how strong it is. So naturally, it's you know going to cause some things to happen. The good is better than the bad, though. So, you know, it's worth it. I'd, I'd much rather be in pain than laying there cramping. It's the pain from cramping all day long, just laying there cramping all day, all night. That's the way it used to be. So, anyway, today is Wednesday, December 16th. Currently, it's 37 degrees out. It's raining. High 41 today. Rain chance, of course, 100%. Humidity is 93% right now, winds 6 mile per hour, and air quality is good at 26. So, got a lot of things here to cover. I've got the question of the day is going really well. So, I'm going to keep doing that. I mean, I try new things, and if, you know, if they work... I, you know, I give them a good, a good shot at it. If they work, I keep doing them. You know, if they don't, they kind of only happen every now and then or something, you know. So, um, today's question, question of the day. You ever heard that before? Oh, that's jokes of the day. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, don't I have some more? Oh, I need to look into that. Well, hold on a second. Let me write something down. I got to have my notes. I need to check on Kitty's Corner because I think, I'm pretty sure, Jump Off A sent some more uh, jokes. I'll have to check and make sure. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Kitty's. If, if I do have jokes, uh, uh, since Logan's having his show, I'll either do Kitty's Corner today or tomorrow. I'll just see how many videos I end up with. I'm trying to keep the amount down a little bit. The jib jabs and the elf yourself just kind of makes it look like I got more videos, but they only last like a minute, you know, so I don't really count those as one of my videos. I try not to do more than four of my own. Now, Logan will have his, but I still try to do a total of four. That's not quite as bad to keep up with today or tomorrow. And... Mm. So, today's question. <clears throat> now, you know, we're, we're kind of on a COVID uh, 
questions, you know, and uh, these are all very important, I think, and, uh, you know, they affect all of us. We all are affected by this. But this question is, have you had a relative or friend pass away from COVID-19? And, you know, I hear a lot, uh, you know, on my prayer request, we're getting more and more uh, people that, you know, are getting this thing. And, you know, it's not just one. It'll be it'll be several in a family or families and just, you know, uh, or people that live alone are getting it, you know, and just this uh, tiny lister just passed away. Uh, he's the big, the, the big black guy that was in Fridays and, uh, he he was he was in a oh what was that one he was in wrestling some too and he was in the friday one of the fridays movies uh, he's been in a lot of stuff and uh he um he was just you know he lived alone i guess and uh <coughs> they found him i don't guess i don't know what you know he was he was in his home uh, and passed away from it. Now, I don't know how he, maybe he didn't think he needed to go to the hospital or something, but he had complained, you know, that he would, that he had it or, you know, that he was not able to breathe good and stuff. But, you know, I think, I just would, you know, like to know, and I think everybody would, how many, how many people are having this happen or, or know of someone you know, because, like I said, in the prayer request, we're getting more and more of y'all that listen. Uh, watch that every morning. Uh, you, you notice there's more and more of them. You know, it just seems like it's getting worse, and it's terrible. And uh, we just had one pass away uh, that, you know, uh, it was just uh, one's father passed away. I, I get upset. I mean, uh we were praying for him, and uh, he just didn't make it. So, I, you know, uh, I think that's a good question. You know, it's not as, uh, it's not a real upbeat question, but something that we all need to know what's what's going on, you know, and how bad it's getting. So, that's it. Have you had a relative or friend pass away from COVID? So, that's the question of the day. And I've got some, let me go over my regular stuff. i got some ideas also. Mark that off. Okay, i got a little show and tell. I'll do that every now and then. i got something neat, I think. And uh, if I, we order from Wish sometimes, but it takes so long to get it. Like, I'll, I'll forget about something that I ordered there by the time it finally gets months later, you know. And uh, we ordered some masks when all this started, you know, because you can get them pretty cheap on there. You just, some of them were, a couple were even free. You just pay the shipping, you know, which was like, they get you a little bit on that, like two or three bucks. But uh, it's still cheap for a mask. But uh, I got this one yesterday, finally. And I think it's really cute. But this, I'll have to try it on here. I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried this on even yet, so... Okay, it's pretty comfortable. Some of them will they'll pull your ears out like, make you look like you got ears sticking out. <laughs> they do if they're a little tight. I noticed yesterday at the dentist, oh yeah, I had my uh, thing for my, you know, where they put molds for, for a partial. They're going to do the top one first because I, I don't have enough insurance money left. And then after the first year, I'm going to get the bottom one. But they did all the mold things yesterday and everything like that. So I like that. Maybe I could see it better if I... Yeah. I think it's cute. Don't y'all? I can breathe pretty good in it. I'm just kind of doing a, a review on this mask, I guess you'd say. Have y'all noticed that your glasses fog up? Watch. Let me breathe a little. Look at that. <laughs> I can't even see out of them now. <laughs> Heaven forbid if you breathe hard to your mouth, it'd be... <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's the only thing. I mean, 
when you've got your glasses on, they'll fog up, if you're, especially if you're talking. I'm just talking, and it's getting foggy. <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, I don't need them for, I just need them for close-up and reading. So, yeah, there it is. I like it. I've got another one coming. It's a, a what's that show? It's a show or something. It's a cartoon or something called Rick and Morty or something like that. It had some funny looking, you know, look, cartoon characters look like on it. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little sniffly today. I don't think I'm getting anything. It's probably, I don't know. I've been congested and stuff though. Okie dokie, that's show and tell. Okay. Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews will be today. They're still foggy a little. Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. It's going to be a great show. If you haven't seen the preview, check it out. <clears throat> I did yesterday. I need eight more questions for Ask My Tablet. I did get... You know, several yesterday. We're still not quite there. Hi, kitty. You still got some tuna stuff down there. No, you ate it. What'd you do? Sit there and just eat it? Huh? You want to come here? You say hi to everybody? She is getting so big. And you know she's got a coon in her? No, don't knock it over. Yeah. Oh, she wants my glasses. She wants to sit down, I think, over here. You want to sit down? Not on my mask. She's going to sit down over here. Uh, they keep growing up to three years old. And she just keeps getting bigger, y'all. Look at her. You cleaning yourself? You want to sit there like a little Buddha? Look at how she does her hands. <laughs> Say. So we may have to, have, if she's asleep, I won't wake her up when I'm doing this. But we'll have to let Kitty uh, visit on morning coffee breaks, too. <laughs> she's clean. Yeah, we'll have to have her visit. Unless she's asleep. Sometimes, usually she seems like she's still awake uh, right now. But she'll sack out after a while. She's been asleep, actually, for uh, a couple hours after she started eating. Well, I fed her at 6. And it's 10, like 10.30. So there she goes. So there's Kitty's visit. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm just going to have to see how things go today. But I'm thinking, I'm going to do another Take a Look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. And I think I'm going to be able to do it today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. <clears throat> and watch for dinner, everyone. Okay, the... Uh, thumbnail a lot of y'all asked me uh when i was talking about uh when i showed that turkey stuffing bake from walmart in my hall yesterday uh i fixed that last night and joy fixed uh brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes and i had a little can of cranberry sauce so i used it the little cans are better for us because you always have cranberry sauce left over and then nobody seems like they eat it. You know, if you use a bigger can. So we got some small ones down at Grocery Outlet and it was pretty good. So the, the stuffing bake, I put some extra, it looked like it didn't have enough shredded cheddar on top. So I put, that's the only thing I added to it was some shredded cheddar. And y'all, it was great. It was only $5.98. So that was only $2 a serving for us. And, uh, there's plenty it would do four but you only get a cup each and you if you had plenty of stuff with it you'd be okay but you know we 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 ate it all i had a little bit left over mine not much not enough to say and uh it was really good so that is your thumbnail today because i'd like everybody to and you know they have other ones they had um I know one of them was like a burrito casserole. It was like layered. It was, I think it said layered burrito casserole or something like that. Or layered burrito. And it looked like a lasagna. And I think it was the same price. And then they had like two more, but I don't remember what they were because I just focused on that turkey bake. And it was really good. It really was, y'all. And it was worth, uh, worth the money. Um, so what's for dinner tonight? 
Hold on and I'll show you one of, one of them. Okay, I finally found it. I mean, I had to dig to get this. But uh, we're having fish tonight. We haven't had it in a while. And I got this down here at Grocery Outlet. I think it's a great price. And we've had it several times. It's Orca Bay top crusted. It's just got stuff on the top, which every time I put stuff, bread something on the bottom, especially fish, it, it always comes off, it seems like, when you when you go to serve it. So it doesn't matter to me if it's just on the top. I like it that way anyway. Um, I do that with chicken sometimes when I bake it to the branch chicken. Uh, but this is top crusted tortilla lime tilapia or cabay. And you can see we only got it for $2.79. Of course it takes two of them for a meal because there's three of us but um 279 i mean you look at these at i don't know about this same brand but like at kroger a couple pieces of nice fish like this would probably be five dollars or more so let me put this back in here kitty's kitty must tell it's fish she's trying to lick on it stuff <laughs> You can't eat that. No, you already had your visit. You sit here. There, yeah, sit down. Yeah, so we're going to have that. We were going to have some slaw because we still got some slaw mix, but we've got still got a, a bunch of salad because we got that salad from uh, Olive Garden and it was so much, you know, we ate on it for a long time. And so we still got the salad we'd already bought. You know the bag salad from Aldi, so we're gonna and that goes bad way faster if y'all know than, uh, of course y'all know, uh, than than uh, cabbage you know would, uh, so we're gonna have this slaw at some other time. I really wanted this slaw, but I don't want the salad to go bad. I really it bothers me to throw things away that you know you hadn't had a chance to, you know, produce especially of course. Uh, if you don't eat it, I mean it's gonna, you know, go bad. So that's what we're having for dinner. And, okay. Um, new ideas for videos. I thought I'd run them across y'all and see what you think. Let me know in the comments also. Okay, here we go. I just happened to have like a, a brainstorm last night. And if I don't write things down, I'll, I won't remember my idea. You know, so whenever I do, I don't care what time it is. If I wake up in the middle of the night and thought about it in a dream, you know, which I've actually done something like that before, uh, you know, if I write it down, I'll remember. So, I'm uh, y'all seem to enjoy the how to videos, the tutorials. Uh, this time, or the tutorial I did, I mean. Uh, but I used Joy's phone to record, and it, and then the words were backwards, which kind of, you know, didn't help a bit for something like that. So what I'm going to have to do is use my phone to record unless I can figure out, if I can figure out how to change hers to where it, the way it look right, I'll do it. But um, I, I can't remember how I did that now uh, on mine, because mine was that way. And I don't, that's awful. To, I don't like mine like that. I like for you to be able to read whatever it is, you know without having to go like, that's backwards, you know. But anyway, I, that's for the future. I'll figure that out sooner or later. But what I'll do is I'll have to show you on her phone. It should be able to, I shouldn't have any problems. So, the first idea is how to change the theme and emoji on Messenger. And, and you can press on emoji to enlarge. Enlarge, a lot of people don't know that. I've had them ask me how I do that. <clears throat> the theme is like the background on your messenger and everything. So I'll show you how to do that on one. The second idea is how to delete trash data on your cell phone that's in your files. On mine, it says my files on it when you go to your apps and stuff. Uh, how to delete trash data because this builds up and all of a sudden you'd be like, what? If you did try to take a video, it'd be, it would cut you off. It did me at one time. And that's how I learned how to do all this. It cut me off at 16 minutes or something like that. If y'all remember, I would have to do like two videos because it was cutting off. 
It's because it was showing too much. But that problem at that time was because I had it recording on 1080, and it only will do so much on 1080. It takes up so much data. So I don't do that anymore. You can change it to 1080 later. That might be another idea soon. You can change your videos from whatever it's set on resolution to 1080. Most of them. Some will go to only 720. That's a whole different one, too. Uh, that's called changing the resolution. That's, that's another idea. Okay. Um, and I'll also show how to use a cleaning app. You can get them for free, but you have to put up with some commercials. And you don't have to pay for a cleaning app. There's plenty of good ones, but you'll be having to, you know, get rid of the commercials and stuff as you go. Uh, no use to pay for it. And I'll show you how to do that. And let me know what y'all think about these, because there's no use in me and putting a lot of time in them, you know, if nobody was, you know, needs them or anything. Okay, and here's another one that, that can help your phone's storage is how to delete caches on your phone, on your phone's apps. YouTube is the main one. YouTube is the main one you would want to be concerned about because if you get too much of it, cache on YouTube, it won't let you comment and things. It'll say problem with the server or what's it say? It'll say error number 404. I'm just pulling a number out of my head. Y'all have probably seen it at some point in time, a lot of you that have channels. Error number, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what? I'm trying to do it over and over, and it says error or something. You're just trying to comment or whatever it is, you know. And uh, that's because you got too much cachet on your YouTube. Uh, yeah, it can cause problems. And you wouldn't believe how many apps that you that are running all the time and build up cachet, and you don't even use them, even if you're not using them. They'll take up a lot. Messenger's one of them and stuff, Facebook stuff. And so I don't have to do it very often, but every, so often I'll go in there and I'll delete the cache. You don't want to delete your data. I'll show you. You want to delete the cache. Okay. Okay, that's it as far as a, uh, new ideas. I hope y'all, uh, you know, I try to I try to come up with new content. It's, winter is an especially good time because there's, I'm not outside, I'll, you know. In the summer, a lot of it's dedicated to my garden and things like that, uh, and walking outside in the morning and stuff, you know, uh, which is natural, you know, because that's what's going on in, in life with Mike. So anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoy these uh, morning coffee breaks. It gives me a chance more to talk about things instead of just showing you things outdoors and stuff. Of course, I talk out there too, but uh, I'm never at a loss for words, as y'all might notice so i think that's it for today uh let me know everything is going you know what you think about everything comment on your question please and we'll keep that going it's easy to come up with a question but right now i'm doing a series of things related to covid if you have a, a question that you would like to have me ask everyone Please give me suggestions. I would I would welcome that, especially to do with uh, the COVID or something else after this. You know, I'll I'll write them down. I always write things down, so uh, I, I welcome your suggestions. I've done I've done lots of different things from from my uh, viewers' suggestions before. You know, so so anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. Please press that like button. That really means a lot to me. Uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I feel better. You can probably tell. I mean, that pain really does a lot to me. I mean, you, I just, you could probably even tell it in my face. I mean, I can't. I couldn't hardly take it. It was some of the worst pain I've had in my muscles and things in a long time. So I hope that doesn't happen, but, you know, 
You never know. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you later on doing something. I promise. Bye-bye and God bless.